Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new hardcore group Iron Man video. If you guys missed any of the previous episodes, the playlist will be in the description. Definitely go ahead and check it out. Also, if you're interested in my teammates, their links will also be in the description. Now, in our previous video, we worked hard towards getting this dragon scimitar. And in today's video, we are going to be working towards achieving Barrow's gloves. I'm not sure at this point in time if I'll be able to achieve it or not, but we'll definitely start working towards it. And the very first step on our journey is to free Dave and that is going to be the very first part of the recipe for disaster also completed very cool let's knock out as many quests as quickly as we possibly can don't tell my team but I see this amulet of strength right here in group storage you already know I'm yoinking it I'm not even gonna say a word I am very happy to be wielding this I'm pretty sure if they made one they can make another right so I can just that's mine now perfect and here is the big chompy bird hunting done as well a bit of cooking ranged fletching xp and most importantly two quest points very nice very quickly before the system update let's give the cake to the dwarf and that is once again some cooking some slayer xp and the quest points that was the second rfd quest done and a slayer level and let's not eat it and there we have it boom another one done freeing the pirate pete for some cooking fishing smithing and crafting experience once again beautiful we have five more left to do we get a cooking level out of that let's keep at it thanks to your support Support on the recent videos today's episode is sponsored by raid shadow legends i know for a fact you have all heard about a raid by now and this game has a lot more to offer than you can imagine now i've personally spent a lot of time leveling up my character in raid and let me talk to you about my favorite champion bellower i absolutely love this guy he has three different abilities and all of them are aoe so he is perfect to clear out your campaign stages and help you level up your other champions as you can see i I have personally geared him with as much damage as possible so he's able to clear the stages as quickly as possible. I personally love the fact that I can play it on PC or on mobile depending on what I'm doing. I also want to talk to you about Sylvania, Guardian of the Spirit Keep. She is one of the many boss fights you can encounter and she is extremely strong. She heals up to half of her health every time she gets a turn whilst also dealing bonus damage depending on how much HP she is missing. As she heals so much it is best to bring your highest dps champions with healing debuffs and stack up heavy damage on her once you've done that the boss fight should be a breeze and you can reap her rewards now playing the campaign is by far the best way to level up your champions you can grind your xp and you get loads of silver but on top of that a couple extra artifacts at the same time and if you want an even bigger head start all you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the qr code right here new players will get an epic hero called chonoru who is an amazing hero for the Doom Tower. You will also receive 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get into the game. You will find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only. It is that easy, just click the link in the description and I hope to see you in game. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Here is another one down using the slop of whatever that was to the goblin dude and we got once again cooking crafting and farming experience that should give us a farming level at least there we go up to 20 farming beautiful and most importantly we now only have four left to do this is gonna get harder and harder though we got a cake of guidance that we can use on lumbridge guide right now and there it is a lot of cooking xp a little bit of magic xp and once again now we have three left i'm not sure if i can do them all already i can only do one more for the other two i will need to have 70 cooking which is a little bit of a grind and for the other i will also need to have heroes quest completed legends quest started the last two will take me a little bit but for now let's finish what we can i better not burn this this could be bad let's see please just 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 don't burn and we're good right nice perfect amazing nice okay so i can now just return to lumbridge and complete this quest as well all right and now for the last two i actually cannot complete them yet a lot of stuff to still train but we're up to 130 quest points already so it's all about getting even more quests right now but let's quickly check our chest and see which gloves we can get up to now we could now buy up to adamant gloves and it only costs 3000 so you know what let's just buy them even though you know it's three 
3000 gold, but I can use these gloves for pretty much everything for now. Uh, and now let's just focus on getting all the requirements for all the other quests. Firstly, let's work on 50 mining. That should take me probably like two, maybe three hours. Finished a two hour movie whilst clicking some rocks and we should be getting level 50 anytime now. There it is, level 50 mining. We can now proceed with the hero's quest. The reason why we needed that was to basically get ice gloves. So let's go ahead and do that. We quickly kill the queen for some ice gloves and now we can go through with the whole hero's quest. Nice, there it is, hero's quest also completed. We do get a lot of experience spread throughout the different skills. So let's see if we get any levels. We get 27 in herb, 37 smithing. And we get anything else? No, that is it. But most importantly, we get this quest point. And also we can now enter the guild and once we do make a little bit of money, we can buy a dragon battle axe. And that pretty much is our best way uh, to increase our strength when we are PVMing pretty much. So it's gonna serve us as a super strength potion for a long time to come. However, I'm broke right now, so let's keep questing. That is the completion of Death Plateau and now we just get a little bit of attack XP for this one. All right, Troll Stronghold completed and we now have an ability to wear climbing boots, which is a slight increase to strength. When we're AFKing the crabs, that's gonna be helpful. And we're also on 133 quest points right now, sick. Here is 40 crafting. I needed to finish off the Fremenic Trials. I'm now gonna go for the Helm upgrade. So we're talking either just Trials or also Fremenic Isles for that Nezi Helm. We'll see if I have the requirements to do that. All right, there we go. Three quest points, a bunch of strength, defense, attack, hit points, fishing, thieving, agility, crafting, fletching, and wood cutting XP. They couldn't fit any more up here. Let's see if we get any levels out of that. A defense level, a thieving level, agility goes up, and wood cutting goes up. Anything else? Nice, beautiful. Okay, so now I could buy a helm that is already fairly decent, but I can also start a Fremenic Isles if I have the... Yeah, I don't. I would need some crafting levels, some wood cutting levels, and some agility levels. You know what? I don't think that's too bad. I think I can maybe try and do this. Looks like since my team can actually make me the items, the only thing I really need is 40 agility. So I do think it is time to train this skill. Just three levels shouldn't take too long, and then I might be able to complete the Fremenic Isles as well. There it is, level 4, the agility is now done, meaning we can actually go and complete Fremenic Isles. Well, let's hopefully not die. So I have one rule, and usually for the boss fights, I never prayer flick, because you never know if you're gonna DC or something, so that's like the only rule I have, but we should be able to kill this boss pretty much without a problem, I'm pretty sure. And there it is, the, 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 the troll king is dead. We get his head and we basically have the Nezi helm completed. All we gotta do is run back and we are good to go. I actually didn't know I get to choose the experience reward. I guess hit points is the slowest one to train. So let's choose hit points and let's choose hit points again. I honestly don't really think it matters that much. We ended up getting some XP in other skills as well. But most importantly, helm of need is not. It's gonna be our best in slot helmet for a very long time. And look at that. 10k wood cutting, 5k crafting construction and obviously obviously the Nezi helm. So the only helm that's gonna be a little bit better than this is gonna be Black Mask once we do actually start training Slayer. But for now, we look like an absolute beast. This is wonderful. Nice. That is Water Talisman, just killing these wizards because I have to create a mud rune for the next quest. So now I basically just need to get an Earth Talisman as well. And a few minutes later, that is an Earth Talisman. Let's go ahead and make ourselves the mud rune. Where I think I just figured out that I'm an idiot. I don't think I can actually do this, can I? I need level 2. 13 room crafting. Oh, whatever, man. I'll just craft what. Uh, well, at least I have the. <laughs> at least I completed the diary task. Dude, how do I get. I guess I need to get three levels first. Okay, I talked to my homie historian Minas. Please tell me I can put this into. I can't. I need level 20. Oh, do they just can't. I. Ah. Uh... You know what? I have a strategy. I know if it's not efficient, but I will clean fossils and hope for lamps. And then I'll put those into room crafting. Hopefully I'll be able to. All right, then that wasn't so bad, I guess. Uh, that's level 13. Uh, room crafting, I can now continue with the quest, but first I need to mine an inventory of essence because I want to get... I don't know why, but I'm just, I'm just gonna do it. Oh yeah, let me just use my low talisman to... Oh. 
man, I don't know what I'm doing, bro. Well, here we go, round number three. Oh, man, hello. I am not going to admit how long it took me to get this sorted, but can I please have some mud runes? There it is, beautiful. Now, I can actually go ahead and do the quest. The Eyes of Glowfree should actually give us very nice experience. So, 12k in magic, 6k in rune crafting, a bit in wood cutting, and a little bit in construction as well. So, that allowed us to go from 13 to 25 rune crafting straight away, and we also got a magic level out of that. So, that is amazing. I think I'll go ahead and complete Watchtower next if I have all the requirements. I will quickly relocate my house to Hasidius just so I'm able to now quickly teleport to house and then I'll be right at current. And the reason for that, well, first of all, I need to grab myself some uh, Jangir berries, and I can get those from thieving fruit stalls. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Maybe I'll get up to 40 thieving very quickly since I'm very close, and then we can complete Watchtower. There is level 40 thieving, also got some Jangir berries, meaning I'll be able to complete my next quest. Okay, there it is, 15,000 magic XP, and the quest should be completed uh, right here. Four quest points, nice, we're up to 143 right now now also a little bit of coins but most importantly we now can also use this to teleport where does this actually unlock i guess watchtower teleport yeah that makes sense all right so we're 51 magic we need to slowly make our way i believe to 59 so we are able to use fire blast for the family crest quest i can probably get to like 57 and use a boost but still a lot of magic training ahead of us but for now let's just continue on with as many quests as we can do and there we have it horror from the deep is also completed the boss fight was very simple we now get Get to choose a god book of our choice probably gonna take a zamorak and uh, yeah just another quest on the massive list of quests we have to complete 145 quest points done after speaking to Josik, i'm able to take zamorak for my reward and once again let's choose zamorak and there it is we now have this as our book obviously it's not full so it doesn't give us any stats but it does give us a little bit of prayer bonus so very cool let's move on as much as questing is very beneficial for my account I'm currently on 145 quest points and there is one thing I would really like to work towards and that is a dragon defender and obviously yes it would be more efficient to go barrels goes first and then get a dragon defender but since I spend a lot of time afking anyways and my stats are already very high what I'm thinking on doing is get a dragon defender and then quest like tomorrow and after tomorrow to finish off barrels gloves and right now if I have a couple of hours where I kind of want to just chill I think it's time to work towards that uh, dragon defender but first I need to buy back my mithril play body we're gonna also buy a mithril full helm and then we're gonna move our way to the warriors guild i'm also going to quickly buy a room plate legs even though i could buy a room plate skirt because it weighs one less than plate legs but i just like the look of plate legs way way more so and now lastly let's go back to barbarian and uh, buy a mithril helm there and we should be good to go that was quick uh first defender obtained we are on bronze right now very cool only took me two minutes apparently up to iron defender i have killed 16 cyclopses so far so i'm getting very very lucky still defender we are on 100 kill count exactly so that's honestly not too bad we'll take it up to black defender 127 cyclopses killed pretty good luck still maintaining the lucky spree and we can go right back and hopefully we get another in those 100 tokens there it is our very first long bone also got the collection log pop-up pretty cool this is awesome right as i was about to go afk a little bit we got a mithril defender as well and we're on 143 KC. I'm going back to the crabs for a little bit and I'm returning later, but that is very good. Almost 85 strength as well. Finally, up to Adamant Defender. This one took me quite a little bit of time and now only rune to go, but first I need to get more nature runes so I can alk all these drops. Not too long after the Adamant Defender, we now have a rune defender, which is amazing. That means we can now go into the bottom room and get better drops and most importantly, work towards the final a dragon defender sick there it is it dropped okay it took me 75 of the well this big cyclops has to get one and dragon defender obtained on the account that we created about eight days ago well not about straight up eight days ago and this is the gear at the moment that is honestly pretty impressive i mean we have pretty much best in slot helm body for a while and the dc is gonna serve us really well up until whips and dude we're looking good the only thing that can be replaced that can be better are these gloves so now we're gonna start working towards finishing the barrels gloves pretty much but yeah very happy to finally achieve 
the Dragon Defender. That is 40 smithing. I'm now gonna go ahead and do Family Crest Quest. All right, looks like we're entering the wilderness for the first time. This guy's not gonna hurt us, bro. He has a black mask and full rune. We should be good. This can be a little scary, though. There's a level 61 and pretty bad gear. We'll let him be. We'll let him do his... Oh my god, he's risking like crazy. What the fuck? All right, then. I'll be ready to TP if needed. Okay, are we good? Did I do it? I think I did it. Nice. And there it is. The family crest is now completed for, well, some gauntlets that we can turn either into gold gauntlets or cooking gauntlets. And it's also a pre-requirement for Barrow's gloves. So that's very cool. That is out of the way. And now I think I'll go on and try and do underground pass. It's probably gonna be a little bit annoying though. I feel like I'll be failing a lot with 40 agility. Oi, oi, oi. This is gonna take forever. Fail number two. Yup. There it is again. Yup. You are fucking kidding. So I'm pretty sure for this one I can just kill him from afar and then telegrab the amulet. Am I not able to? Maybe I can find an angle. There we go, I found an angle. This guy might slap me though. Okay. Yeah, I think this is doable. I can do it from there, but I can do it from here. Nice. Okay, let's see if I can telegrab it. Nice. Okay, so that worked. That's pretty cool. <sighs> you can't make this up. Surely I can fail this again, right? Oh my god, we gone and did it. I can't believe it. So I go here and then I use this on the middle, right? Boom, and then use here. No way I dc it right now. Hello? We good? I think we're good. Bro, that was scary actually, just like being unable to move for so long. What the fuck is that? Alright, I think we're good though. I think the quest is basically almost done. Alright, there it is. Underground pass done. We can now use the Ibon spell, but also a bit of agility, a bit of attack XP. And now if I get 200k, I'll be able to upgrade this and actually use it. Ibon stuff is not too bad at our level at the moment so that's pretty solid i still have a bunch of quests to do but we are now over 150 and the remaining of the quests are not that hard to do so i'm probably just gonna try and do them as fast as i can it's been a while since i've done this but i think if i talk to this dude he should be able to upgrade my staff of Iban and 200k is what we'll give him and that should do it right there we go it's upgraded and now it has 2.5k charges really cool stuff and back to questing i guess that is very quick Corsair curse done for two quest points. The very next goal I need to reach is level 48 agility and after that level 70 cooking. I'm gonna start off with agility. This is probably gonna take me quite a little bit of time to complete but I personally don't mind agility that much. It's just running laps. It's pretty mindless. Watch some. All I have to do is watch some shows on the side and I should be good to go. Pretty much all day of agility later we ended up going from 40 to 48 agility. We will need this for a recipe for disaster part and the last thing we'll need to do is cooking so I guess uh, mess hall is probably my best option for that and I guess I'll get at it probably first thing in the morning boy did I not expect to be doing this for cooking but you know what it is not that bad I've been doing it what for about two hours right now I'd say 35k an hour semi afk and we're up to 58 cooking obviously we do need 70 to go for the barrows gloves and when it comes down to the actual favor we did end up reaching a 100% residuous by simply doing mass haul and i think i'll be stuck here for another two maybe three hours until i reach level 70 uh, yeah it's gonna be rough but i think i can do it so that's gonna be my life for a little bit i'll catch up to you once i'm 65 because then i can move on to pizzas all right we're not gonna talk about the fact how long this took me do not look at this it didn't take me an entire day i perfectly love clicking food and cooking it and there is 65 cooking so i'm not even done yet but at least i'm now able to create pizzas inside the mess hall so that should speed up my xp per hour by quite a little bit and we should be able to reach that level 70 for barrels gloves all right then wow this took forever but there it is 70 cooking meaning we can now attempt to complete uh, the awawogi part of the recipe for disaster so yeah i'll prepare for that i think i need to get four different degree degrees and whatnot and yeah let's start uh, finishing up on the barrels gloves bro this place scares me man i don't know what it is just the fucking snakes at the wall snakes on the floor ah no nah, i don't like it all right there is no way i burn three right no way that is one overcooked uh oh uh oh that's two burnt nah don't do this to me please oh nah dude you can't man okay we're good we're good i cba man okay we should be good 
Let's move this, put this here, and there it is. So now we only have the Ceramic Vars step left, and obviously the part where we need to reach enough quest points as well. I don't know if I need to do that before or after I do this step. Uh, at least this is now done. Nice. So there it is, 10k cooking, 10k agility, and obviously increase to our chest alongside one quest point. Do we get an agility level out of that? I do think we do. Very cool, nice. And now, Ceramic Vars next. Let's see if we can do it. So it just says that I have this requirement right but I think I might be able to just start it without having all of those things I'm not sure but basically I need to start legends quest in order to do this so let's see if we can do that let me know in the comment if you have known about this trick on how to traverse the grassy jungle if you step on this exact tile and chop down this jungle tree your character will basically just run right through everything and I've known this for well forever and I still see people struggle to traverse through this area but as you can see you can go through like in a matter of seconds and the reason we needed all of those quests and all of that is because of this vanilla plant we need to search it find the vanilla pod and now we can continue creating our well whatever we're creating here and just like that we have a brulee and uh, i think i add this to it i do need to be in the lumbridge to do this so if i rub this i'm able to ask a dragon to cook my brulee and i do have anti-fire shield on and ice gloves so i shouldn't be taking too much much damage here but this can actually apparently hit quite hard and let's see if this works and if I take any damage from the dragon looks to be just fine and with that we now completed all the sub parts of the recipe for disaster uh, but another problem occurred that I was unaware of and that is the fact that we don't have 12 magic logs and without 12 magic logs we are unable to complete desert treasure without desert treasure we're unable to well, basically go for the boss fight right so there is 4k cooking xp hit point xp and an ability to buy dragon gloves from the colony manager chest and also so we're currently sitting on one five five quest points there's gonna be a large cutscene ahead of us and after that i need to find a solution to my magic log problem but i do believe this is going to be where i will be ending the episode for today in the next one we're gonna 100 be finishing off our battles gloves we're gonna find a solution to our magic log problem whether it will be winter Todd or slayer to get it as a drop and after that it will actually become really really fun to start doing some group iron man content together uh, now that we'll have a barrel's gloves achieved on the account but once again as always if you guys made it this far into the video please consider giving me a like also feel free to comment and check out episodes one two and three if you haven't seen them yet that being said hopefully i'll see you very very soon again with another video until then stay safe and bye bye